All right, guys, today we have something pretty neat from our friends over at Recover Tactical. They make a lot of neat firearms, accessories, stabilizing devices for pistols and that type of thing. But I saw this PCH-17. I was like, oh, that's cool because I love red dots on my pistols. I run the red dots on all my pistols. But what if you've never been able to do that? What if you can't really afford a new slide or a new gun? This is a neat little device under 40 bucks that allows you to put a red dot on it and we're gonna put it through its paces today. But first, check out our sponsor for this video, and that is TacPack. TacPack is a monthly subscription service that you get a fun box full of tactical gear every month. It's like Christmas every month in the tactical realm. You, of course, you have tactical gear, that's the name, gun gear, gun parts, range gear, like these little sticker dots we're gonna to use today. Survival gear, maybe a multi-tool if you're on the higher end, because they have three different tiers, so you can start whatever fits your budget. You can also consider using it as a gift. And here's another gift. If you sign up with code TOPSHOT, you can get a $65 everyday carry package for free. So go check out our friends at TACPAC.com. Now let's shut up and shoot. So the first thing we want to check is just that it's solid. I've put about two or three mags through it and it's holding up so far. True to its form, it didn't come with Loctite. I would kind of prefer to put Vibratite on it. So I just put the screws in as they came in the package and we'll see how that holds up. Of course, this being a budget option, we don't expect anyone who has this to run thousands of rounds through it because that costs more than a new gun would anyway. But first thing I noticed when I presented out is I can still see my sights. There's a small tunnel through this. So now we can see, because they made of that Picatinny rail has a slit. And so we can still have an iron backup channel. Now, of course, it's kind of occluded a bit, but when you shoot with both eyes open, you'd be okay. Yes, the dot is a little high, but that's okay if we're just taking it to the range and checking stuff out. So uh, we've got our little target dots that came in our tack pack kit up there, recycling a target because we care about the trees. I couldn't say that with a straight face. Uh, let's see what we're doing. It's about five yards. Let's see. We have a rough zero on steel, but we have not uh, shot on paper at all. Okay, so it looks just a smidge low and a smidge left, but I'm not worried about that smidge so much, so we're just gonna have fun shooting now. Put a couple mags through it and see if it changed zero. I'm gonna throw my aim cam on so you can see the same thing I'm seeing roughly. You know, camera's just a little bit off, but we're gonna put a couple magazines down range, about the same amount of ammo value as the mount itself. Figured that's a good test and we'll see if it still keeps zero. Let's play. <laughs> Mag, that's fun. All right, we're gonna tap the brakes a little, see if we can get something further down, like 75 yards. There we go, that's cool. All right, let's double that distance. I got a 160 yard buffalo. Let's see what we got. Oh, first shot. There we go again. Why not? Since we're just burning ammo, let's go 270 yards to the very furthest target out there. Now, this is a joke, but we'll see. Never connected at 300, but we didn't expect to. So it is hot. The takedown lever itself was starting to burn my hand a little bit. With it still nice and toasty, let's put five rounds on target and see if it kept zero. Still feels nice and tight. We're at the same spot, just the different target. My group looks twice as tight and in the same spot, just a smidge low and left like we had earlier from that rough steel zero, but that's cool, guys. Now, it is gonna be a little bit optic specific. 
for instance, it can't be a too heavy of an optic. The weight limit is three and a half ounces, so don't try to clamp a massive EOTech up here. It'd look cool, but it wouldn't work. Um, I tried a Hollow Sun 507, and it was interfering with my rear sight, that little clamp there. So this Zero Tech optic clamped on just fine and dandy, and we're good to go. And uh, it's just kind of cool. Now, I can't leave a link on YouTube or Facebook, but on Facebook, message me and we will have that link tree. On YouTube, there is a pinned comment for the link tree that have my email subscription list and all that. We'll put a link for this Recover Tactical PCH17 if that's something you wanna try out. I think it's pretty stinking cool, at least to have on hands, and it's still tight and it's still good. And that was, you know, as much ammo as you would pay for the PCH-17 anyway. That gun's still hot though, so we'll leave you with that, guys. Thanks for watching. Okay, I'll leave you. Bye-bye.